Hello, my beautiful souls. This is Julie with Into Heart Space. I just wanted to thank you all for watching um, my videos and liking and sharing and subscribing. Um, it's been so wonderful getting to know all of you and doing readings for you. And if you would like to get a reading, you can contact me on my website or email me at um, the email in the description box below. And also, this is a general reading, so if it doesn't hit you or resonate with you right now, that's okay. You can always go to your sun, moon, rising sign, and maybe the message you need is there. Um, but I have been loving um, getting to know everyone, so thank you, thank you, thank you, and on to your reading. Hello, Scorpio. This is Julie with Into Heart Space, and we're looking at the energy surrounding you for mid-November. So let us get started on your reading. What energies are surrounding Scorpio for mid-November 2016? What does Scorpio need to know? What added guidance does Scorpio need to know for the remainder of November 2016? I call in the highest of light, the highest of energy to guide us on this reading. Calling in clear messages, gentle guidance to get us to where we need to go, Scorpio, November 2016. Okay. Alright, and the energy that is coming in from the beginning of um, November is the Ace of Swords reversed. So when we have the Ace of Swords reversed coming in as the energy from earlier on, it is often a slowed start, like you have this, this idea, this thought that you've been kind of percolating on, but it's just not necessarily the right time to initiate it and let it go. So you might need to percolate just a little bit longer on this idea that you have before you unleash it. Um, yeah, so then we have the Page of Cups, the Fool reversed, Ace of Discs reversed, Six of Swords, and then Ace of Cups. Okay. So the Page of Cups that is overarching this, a lot of times the page um, is a younger energy, is... Um, it can be um, youth, but it can also just be youth energy. So um, just to see, let's do a clarifier card on the page. Okay, so Six of Wands. Um, so yeah, this the Page of Cups might be bringing messages of um, that will that will help you out, that will lead you to where you need to go. Um, it, it might be somebody who heard a great lead on a great job um, and you're, you're not you know you you've been looking but you didn't know what to do and they just kind of gave you a little tidbit you know it's somebody who's going to help you out um, to lead you to victory now um, also a cups energy is a water a water energy so somebody who exhibits the the energy of a cancer um, a Scorpio or a queer, um, or Pisces so here we, since we have this here, and since you're Scorpio, uh, it could be you, and it could be you that um, you're really in yourself, and you're really feeling youthful and vibrant, and you have the energy to uh, communicate what it is that you need and want the rest of the month. And if you can do that, then you you will actually love the outcome of it. In the love position, we have the fool in reverse. So this is often, um, you know, kind of... Um, making decisions that aren't in your best interest but just because it feels good at the time so with love it could be that you just met somebody and you feel really connected with them but your spidey sense is saying mm, you know wait just a minute give it just a second you know um, because they might not be the best person for you at this moment you know um, you could you know it's like a kind of get that kind of Romeo Juliet feeling of but I love him and like you've never you don't know anything about him or her quite yet so um, just make sure that um, 
every those feelings are valid and those feelings do mean something but just let it uh, percolate a little bit longer before you decide to marry them or move in with them if it's a, a new relationship and then if you're already in an established relationship um, then this this could also be that you're making decisions that aren't um, that you need to talk to your partner more about okay so um, they might not be on board with what you want and you might not know that and so you're just going to be making these decisions thinking this is great let's go do this let's um go skydiving together and they're they're afraid of heights you know and you never knew that kind of it's that kind of situation um, so just you know once again communicate with them that you know so that you can you can start that conversation and both people feel like they are a part of the relationship instead of why are you always doing things without me that I don't like you know a one-sided kind of feeling so just be careful of that and then here we have in the career sector ace of discs in reverse so you have like a lot of beginnings happening I mean you have three aces um, but some of them just might be delayed so this is um, when you have the ace of discs here it could be a delay in payment so if you're a contractor uh, you just might not get payment on time um, you might not be getting the raise you wanted you might not be making as much as you thought and anticipated you would um, it could also be that you had thought that you were going to get a new position um, or um, start a new the project and it just doesn't come through um, as quickly as you like or in the way that you had anticipated so this is it's still positive that things are coming in but it's just in a slower um, in a slower way and not in the way you had anticipated uh, so in finances we have six of swords okay so the six of swords uh, you are going to a better financial situation even though it's really slow moving even though you don't see the full benefit of it yet but you're making the right decisions and you're you're doing the work and that's the most important thing is that you continue doing this work to grow whatever it um, to whatever financial situation you would like to be so you, some might not be in like the the most solid situation but you are doing the right things to get there so you know um, don't focus on the negative don't focus on what you don't have you know focus on the positive and focus on in gratitude what you already have and that will help you kind of sail closer to smooth waters in health we have ace of cups um, so this is I mean this is a great card in that position so you're you know you're starting a new um, cycle with your health and it's uh, on the up and up you know you know you're starting to realize um, how good it feels to be healthy you know Scorpio so you're starting to realize like how important that part of your life is and how it it affects the rest of your life so that's great um, and if you're kind of you know wishy-washy like uh, I you know I don't know if I should start anything this is saying um, you know go to a class that you don't normally take or do a project, um, a physical activity that you normally don't do but has always interested you and it just might click for you and um, you might find some passion and you know great joy out of out of finding this new um, place to vent. So absolutely like this is this is the time to start start something new when it comes to your health. Um, yeah, even, you know, trying a new diet, like if you feel really sluggish because you've been eating too many carbs, this is a time to cut back and you see how great you feel because of it. Um, and that, you know, that you're starting it and that you can stick with it. So, ta-da, awesome, Scorpio. Let's call on the angels and see what added guidance we have for the remainder of November. All right, angels, what do you have to say to Scorpio? What message do you have that Scorpio needs? That one. Crown chakra. So with the crown chakra, it, it says, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in answer to your prayers. Let me say that one more time. 
pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of true divine guidance sent in to answer your prayers. Okay, yeah, so I mean, um, here we have um, maybe something didn't go the way you had anticipated it, an idea that you had percolating, but you are on the road to success. You absolutely are. You know, make sure that um, you don't deny these new beginnings that want to come in, even though they're not coming in in the way that you, you had anticipated. Be supple and bend with the changes. And that way you can, you can go down this road and start the things that you wanted to start and probably in a stronger and healthier way than you had imagined. It just might take you a while to get there, but don't give up. Be patient. Be patient with what you have and um, honor your spirit, honor your mind, honor your body. Um, and in gratitude, you know, thank the divine for you being here because you are on the road to victory. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for uh, watching this video. And if you would like to continue this video, um, this reading, we can do a personal reading and you can contact me at my website or uh, via email, which are both linked in the description box below. So thank you, thank you, and love, joy, and blessings.